Hey, this is Rob the Ignorant Entrepreneur, and this is actually the 200th video I've made in this style of format that I'm putting on this channel, and I'm about to be monetized by Google. I'm currently going through the process as I've reached 3,000 hours watched and over 500 subscribers. So I wanna thank all my subscribers out there watching the content, but here we go. Elon Musk, the man who said we need to put AI on a hold, is launching his new company, XAI. Man, man, man. XAI has the goal to, and I quote, understand the true nature of the universe, according to Elon Musk. Now, the team members behind XAI are alumni of DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Twitter, and Tesla, and have worked on projects including DeepMind's AlphaCode and OpenAI's ChatGBT 3.5 and 4. Musk seems to be, you know, that little spat that he was having with the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman. Looks like he's positioning this to be a competitor to it, and he wants to make this more of a truth GPT as opposed to the chat GPT that's being heavily censored in order to keep compliance with a lot of the groups out there that will undoubtedly hate on some of the biases that will be made against certain groups of people or different ideas, potentially by the information that's fed it. Musk has even been purported to throw nine-figure promises at the top AI researchers. Now, one of the AI startup advisors will be Dan Hendricks, executive director of the Center for AI Safety, a San Francisco-based nonprofit that published a letter in May signed by tech leaders claiming that mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. Now, this letter received pushback from many academics and ethicists of the belief that too much focus on AI's growing power and its future threats distract from real life harms that some algorithms cause to marginalized communities right now, rather than in an unspecified future. Now, in a two hour long discussion on Twitter spaces on Wednesday night, Musk actually reflected on the motivation behind this newest AI venture and China's relationship with the U.S. and the likelihood of AI creating a dismal future for humanity. Now, here's some quotes from Elon Musk. He said, I think a maximally curious AI, one that is just trying to sort of understand the universe, is, I think, going to be pro-humanity from the standpoint that humanity is just more interesting than not humanity. Musk said that he prefers this method to trying to explicitly program morality into the AI. He said that as far as regulating the technology, Musk suggested that policymakers spend a few years learning about the technology before moving to oversight with consultation with industry. He also suggested that some kind of industry group or self-regulatory body akin to the Motion Picture Association would be useful. Now, with respect to China, uh, of course, he has businesses there. He has to comply with them. And in all regards, he can't say anything against them. Just throwing that out there. Musk said that in his conversations with senior leadership in China, yeah, he spent a good amount of time discussing AI safety and was even uh, quoted as saying, no government wants to find itself unseated by a digital super intelligence. So I think they are actually taking action on the regulatory front and are concerned about this as a risk, end quote. Now, of course, the tensions between the U.S. and China right now are high in the AI arms race. That has been going on for a while now, but on the forefront, like on open facing, everybody's been seeing it, has been, you know, triggered by the likes of ChatGPT. Now, like a lot of industry leading experts that I've been seeing in recent days, Musk predicted that the world will see a digital superintelligence or the form of artificial intelligence that is smarter than any human at anything within five or six years. That's been sort of the consensus I've been hearing is in five years, we'll have the AI that can replace all these people's jobs, right? Now, some of these positions like will still require, uh, you know, especially in the beginning, data entry because you don't have a physical front machine that can, you know, go and take in the sensory data and then bring it back to the system. I think those, the Optimus robots that uh, Musk is working on, those would be a physical representation that could do so. Yes, when people say, oh, we'll be able to work with the AI first, absolutely. It will take businesses quite a bit of time to get adjusted to the new systems. However, there will be a point where they'll all be on board and certain businesses will have to reevaluate their models because they'll be useless. Like if we take a look at Grammarly, that company is completely irrelevant now, like with ChatGPT. And, and when the AI becomes like a personal assistant to people, like it'll be able to write out things on their behalf anyway. So stuff like that is just those companies, they lose all their workers. They don't even have to worry about automating their workers' jobs. Like the entire business just will not make sense. But Musk, of course, is, uh, you know, he, he's putting out there that he believes it'll be a positive scenario more than a bad scenario. This is, again, the same man. I have a theory on this. He's the same man who's like, oh, we need to have more people in the world. Like people need to have more children, especially in these industrialized countries. 
I believe the only reason he believes that is because he knows that more people, more money, right? The more people you can take advantage of in a capitalistic society, the more money you can make from them. Now, in reality, with this AI, and if we're thinking that the supercomputers will be here and they'll be smarter than any person, it really doesn't matter how many people you have, right? You can just have people living comfortably however they want to live, and the AI will be able to take care of all the things that we used to do. So this capitalism doesn't even work in this AI scenario, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Ignorant Entrepreneur. I'm out.